Over the past month, we have witnessed an unprecedented shift in global behavior. Quarantine, remote work, no flying, limited driving, more cooking, virtually no shopping, more family time, walking the neighborhood endlessly. And I certainly don't want to paint a bucolic little house on the prairie sketch of COVID collectively we are enduring the pain of loss and, and stark financial stress. And certainly circumstances are quite different for those on the front lines. However, for the vast majority of people in the world, quotidian life has simply changed. We are living more locally and, and living with less. I mean, how many of you haven't gotten out of your pajamas today? Be honest. In my video around COVID the meme, I posed the question, when we get on the other side of this wicked mess, will we emerge with new priorities related to our interconnectivity or will we just scurry back to our old consumptive patterns that was already pulling the noose tight around the world's neck? It's often, posited that it takes 21 days to build a habit. That explains the length of many of our courses on commune. And the lockdown that is coercing us to adopt new patterns is already longer than 21 days. As we sink into the couch of this new normal, maybe new patterns are reconditioning us. Maybe new priorities are springing Fourth, maybe cooking is better than going out. Maybe less convenience is more fulfilling. Maybe remote work is more efficient. Maybe I don't need so many clothes, trinkets, and devices to be happy. Maybe I actually like my kids, or more surprisingly, maybe they even like me. Maybe growing a carrot makes it taste better. Maybe I should know my neighbor's name. Maybe I don't need to pursue some romantic, notion of traveling the world. Maybe God is exactly where I am. Maybe if enough people wake up to a better way of life, then corporate globalism withers on the vine. Do we need a t-shirt where the cotton is grown in Texas, shipped to Indonesia to be made into yarn, then shipped to Bangladesh to be made into cloth, printed in China, shipped to New York, shipped to a retailer or Amazon, just to be shipped to you all for $9.99? I mean, what is the collateral damage of that behavior? John Maynard Keynes wrote, it is easier to ship recipes than cakes and biscuits. Is there not a more sustainable and local life that is more fulfilling? A life connected to civic engagement and the public square, structures that are decentralized and have distributed leadership that create healthier and more accountable hierarchy. Could the 80th verse of the Tao give us a window into a new human story? If a country is governed wisely, its inhabitants will be content. They enjoy the labor of their hands and don't waste time inventing labor-saving machines. Since they dearly love their homes, they aren't interested in travel. There may be a few wagons and boats, but these don't go anywhere. There may be an arsenal of weapons, but nobody ever uses them. People enjoy their food, take pleasure in being with their families, spend weekends working in their gardens, delight in the doings of the neighborhood, and even though the next country is so close that people can hear its roosters crowing and its dogs barking, they are content to die of old age without ever having gone to see it.